this is Morgan, registered dietitian and personal trainer. Today we're going to talk about carbohydrates. I know everyone in this day and age, because keto is very popular, is terrified of carbohydrates. Uh, they get a bad rap and there is reason for that. That's because carbohydrates, if eaten in excess, can be stored as fat, which is what we're trying to avoid. As a bariatric patient, you're told to eat high protein, moderate fat, and a low carbohydrate diet for the rest of your life. As a bariatric patient, your carb content differs on how far out you are. For the first six weeks after surgery, we really want you focusing on protein. So your carbs are very little. We want you to stay under 20 grams of carbs. Then as time goes on, once you hit six weeks to six months, you're allowed to have 30 grams of carbs. At six months, you can start introducing more complex carbs like fruits and whole grains and go up to 40 grams in a day. Once you hit your one year and your maintenance phase, you can do anywhere from 50 to 75 grams of carbohydrates. So this does not mean on your birthday you can never have cake again. There's a difference between a whole slice of cake and a sliver of cake. There are two different types of carbs. There are simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. You really want to focus on the complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates have a high amount of fiber in them and fiber is good for our gut health. Complex carbohydrates are things such as whole grain products like whole wheat bread, brown rice instead of white rice, oatmeal, and whole wheat pasta. Your simple carbs are ones that are typically high in fat and sugar. Those are your cakes, cookies, pastries, donuts, and I like donuts. No, I like cookies. Um, <laughs> your white pasta, your white bread. Those things are simple, and what they do is they go straight through your belly. So what that means is they don't keep you full for very long. For example, it's kind of like Lay's potato chips. You can kind of keep eating them and eating them and eating them and not get full. Those carbohydrates turn into fat because they are eaten in excess. You may have heard of the term net carbohydrates. Your net carbohydrates are your total carbohydrates minus your fiber, since you don't digest your fiber, and half of the sugar alcohols. Sugar alcohols do contain some calories. That's why we subtract only half of them. Your net carbs are what you really want to focus on because that tells you how many carbs are really staying inside your body. When you count your carbs and your limit, say your six months out is 40 grams of carbs, I want you counting your total carbs because you do want to make sure you're getting some fiber in there. So since carbs are an energy source, uh, the first energy source really our body uses because of glucose, the more active you are, you will want to consume more carbohydrates because of the fuel source. So it's like putting a little more gas into your engine. Again, you don't want to rely on the simple carbohydrates for that. Rely more on complex carbohydrates. For example, have a piece of fruit like melons or berries before you work out, or you can do a half glass of orange juice. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share, check us out. Thanks. Have a good one.